For a second day in a row, Chinese activists on board a sailing boat have failed to reach disputed islands after being turned back by marine police. The actions of these Hong Kong-based Chinese nationalists are the latest in an ongoing diplomatic row between Beijing and Tokyo. Japanese officials are refusing to release the captain of a Chinese ship. They say he deliberately rammed one of their Coast Guard boats near a set of islands which both Japan and China claim as their own. China correspondent Steve McDonnell reports on the dispute unfolding in North Asia. Chinese nationalists have failed again to reach a set of disputed islands as the row between Beijing and Tokyo continues. Earlier they were in high spirits leaving Hong Kong to try and sail to the islands which Japan calls Senkaku and China calls Jiayu. But they were turned back by marine police. The protesters say it's their right to go there. You can't say that we're challenging their sovereignty because it's our territory in the first place. So am I challenging sovereignty if I return to my own home? The diplomatic row between China and Japan follows the arrest of a Chinese captain. Japan says he used his ship to deliberately ram one of their Coast Guard vessels near these disputed islands, and seaborne protests have followed. China wants Japan to release the captain. This incident has seriously damaged the Sino-Japanese relationship. To avoid further damage, the key is Japan must immediately release him without any conditions. China says it's already suspended high-level contacts with Japan. Premier Wen Jiabao has also threatened other measures unless the captain is released unconditionally. Xinhua Wire Service quoted Premier Wen as saying Japan bears full responsibility for the current crisis. Japan appears to be trying to cool down the situation. I haven't confirmed what exactly the Chinese Premier said and how he said it, but if he were to threaten us, we really need to hold a dialogue on a higher level as soon as possible. Experts on China-Japan relations are watching this row unfold with at least some concern. Although this is not a new problem, it is a lot more serious than previous similar disputes. Looking at the big picture, this time the Jiayu issue is more worrying. And in my opinion, in the future the issue and other ocean disputes will become increasingly serious. It's rare that protesters are seen in the heart of Beijing, but whenever a dispute erupts with Japan, they're somehow allowed to do what others are not. It doesn't take much for a China-Japan dispute to become a nationalist cause here. At times like this, the government tends to give the green light to protests for a while. Then it brings out the security forces, like those behind me outside the Japanese embassy, and it shuts down the demonstrations. In Hong Kong, where protesting is permitted by the authorities, anti-Japanese sentiments continue to be expressed publicly. This fight is officially over a set of islands, but the real reasons for the conflict run much deeper. Stephen McDonnell, Late Line.